Maxi! Maxi! Maxi, Maxi, Maxi! It only takes just one slip up for a celebrity's career to take a nosedive. In the worlds of film and television, reputation is paramount. Let's take a look at a few stars who failed to notice this and ended up permanently disappearing from our screens. Ever seen a flick and wondered what happened to the actor or actress? Yeah, me too. Today we're going to take a nostalgic ride down memory lane saying goodbye to some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions as we reminisce about some of Hollywood's most glittering has-beens. Lights, camera, reminiscence. Join us as we have a look at 40 famous actors you will never see again in movies. 40. Roseanne Barr. A career-ending single-duty tweet can be seen clearly in Roseanne Barr's case. After Barr tweeted a racist insult at Valerie Jarrett, a top African-American counselor to Barack Obama, ABC immediately canceled her comedy, Roseanne. The post caused a lot of people to react negatively, even though Barr later apologized. Barr's Twitter message was criticized by ABC's entertainment president, Channing Dungey, who deemed it vulgar, disgusting, and at odds with the network's principles. The enormous financial success of the show made its demise all the more shocking. The advertising revenue for ABC in the year preceding the incident was estimated at $45 million. Cancellation was a monumental decision, as predicted revenues for the upcoming season surpassed $60 million. Barr first said that the drug Ambien was to blame for the tweet. As a result, she said, she started acting in an unusual way. Sarah Gilbert, Roseanne's Darlene and the Connors continued, allegedly had a critical post that led to the cancellation of her show, she said afterwards. In his disapproval of Barr's behavior, Gilbert criticized Roseanne for her recent remarks on Valerie Jarrett, calling them insulting and out of line with the values held by the show's employees. Barr bemoaned the absence of responsibility in reaction to Gilbert's post. According to her, the tweet had a negative impact on her life and was a major factor in the show's termination. Accountability in the public eye is crucial. And this instance teaches us that the repercussions of incorrect social media behavior may be rapid and severe. 39. James Franco Following a string of sexual assault accusations, James Franco essentially faded from the spotlight. In response to these charges, even Franco's longtime colleague Seth Rogen attempted to remove himself from the situation. The interview made it very clear that Rogan has not communicated with Franco and has no plans to do so in the future. This signifies the conclusion of their partnership on projects such as Pineapple Express. Franco snapped a selfie with a girl who was 17 years old outside of the theater in 2014 while he was acting on Broadway in the play of Mice and Men. It was because of this photograph that his reputation began to deteriorate. After he had urged her to mention him on Instagram, he sent her a private message in which he suggested that they make reservations for a hotel room. Franco defended himself on Howard Stern's show, saying that he did not aggressively seek out dates at high schools and that he behaved like a gentleman. This was in spite of the fact that Franco admitted to the direct messages, action taken. After Franco was awarded a Golden Globe in 2018, he was once again the subject of controversy when Ali Sheedy, who had worked with Franco on the play The Long Shrift in 2014, took to Twitter to make what some people interpreted as an accusation of sexual harassment or abuse against Franco. Violet Paley, another actress, tweeted about a horrendous attack scenario that involved Franco. Paley's tweet was about the incident. Sarah Tither Kaplan, one of three women who had attended Franco's Studio 4 film school, accused him of sexual misconduct, despite Franco's denials on Stephen Carr's show. Sarah Tither Kaplan was one of the ladies who had attended Franco's school. As of October 2019, Vanity Fair had immediately removed Franco from their annual Hollywood edition. This was due to the fact that several of the women who were featured in the piece had previously filed lawsuits against Franco for sexual harassment. In February of 2021, 
a confidential settlement was reached among the parties involved, with Franco vehemently denying any misconduct. But the ramifications injured his career and got him removed from other Hollywood projects, including ones in the pre-production phases. Seth Rogen has made it abundantly clear that he has made the decision to opt out of working with Franco. It was via his assurance that he would not overlook or cover up incidences of harassment and abuse that he reinforced his opposition to these particular actions. He expressed regret for a joke he had made earlier on Saturday Night Live and stated that these events had changed the chemistry of his friendship with Franco. Rogan also expressed regret for the joke he had made before. 38. Lori Loughlin. Lori Loughlin's unfaltering devotion to her girls caused her career to crumble as the Full House star watched. Both she and her husband, Massimo Giannulli, were convicted as part of a college admissions scam that included 50 other individuals. She was sentenced to two months in prison for her role in the conspiracy. By fabricating stories about their daughter's athletic abilities, the parents hoped to get their daughters admitted to USC. Laughlin was ordered to pay a fine of $150,000 and perform 100 hours of community service as a condition of their plea agreement, while Giannulli was given a term of three years in jail. Along with a punishment of $250,000, Giannulli was ordered to perform 250 hours of community service. In a video message, Laughlin admitted that she had made a terrible choice and conveyed her regret. Olivia Jade, their daughter, added insult to injury by accusing her parents of being responsible for the setback to her career. Significant financial losses in commercial dealings with Estee Lauder, Treseme, and Sephora were among the consequences. Olivia Jade surprised everyone by not thanking her parents for the publicity. The episode was a sobering reminder of the ripple effect that unethical behavior may have on one's career and personal life. 37. Kat Dennings Kat Dennings has been a household name because of her energetic performances in cinema since she was a teenager. As Max Black on Two Broke Girls, a CBS sitcom, she became famous. Dennings' prominence in popular culture was cemented by the six-year run of the sitcom, in which the witty waitress at the diner endeared herself to viewers. She became even more famous due to her public relationship with artist Josh Groban and other musicians. After this era of success, though, Dennings seemed to withdraw from the limelight in Hollywood. There are a lot of factors contributing to her diminished visibility. Firstly, she received a hefty weekly income and a portion of the considerable financial profits from syndication arrangements thanks to her profitable lead position on Two Broke Girls. Each episode was valued at $1.7 million when the show signed a syndication contract with TBS. This cash bonanza guarantees that Dennings continues to prosper, even though she hasn't been involved in any ventures recently. There are a total of 138 episodes. Dennings' contribution to the MCU is another reason for her diminished profile. Her character Darcy Lewis was visible in Thor and the Dark World, but she has been noticeably absent from following Marvel Cinematic Universe films, which could indicate that her connection with the franchise is coming to an end. Plus, Dennings' split from Josh Groban in 2016 was all over the internet, right before Two Broke Girls last season. Despite claims that they are friendly and mutually beneficial, such private matters might have an impact on an actor's professional life. Dollface, a pilot for Hulu, might be Denning's ticket back into the spotlight. In her role as a lady managing friendships following a major breakup, Denning's explores themes of comebacks in the show. Dollface might be Denning's return to TV stardom, what with the participation of famous producers and a fascinating premise. 36. Katherine Heigl, Heigl reigning as one of the most promising young actors in Hollywood. After the 2005 launch of Grey's Anatomy, her star began to rise dramatically. Heigl received a staggering $300,000 and a 190% increase in salary in a matter of months in 2007 for her major part in Knocked Up, 
which she landed just two years into her tenure on Grey's Anatomy. Fans of Grey's had high hopes for her future Emmy wins after she became the show's only regular cast member to do so. Things went south, though, when Heigl pulled out of the Emmy race, saying that her performance in season four wasn't good enough to warrant consideration, proclaiming one's intention to protect the honor of the Academy. As a direct attack on Shonda Rhimes, the show's seasoned showrunner and series creator, this comment sent shockwaves through the fan base, the cast, and the production team. The actress's plea for a lower workload led Rhimes to reveal that Heigl's character was minimized over the season. Claiming Heigl was a diva, rumors of cast conflict surfaced on site. She agreed to return for another season despite speculation that her character will be killed off. Rhymes allegedly agreed to let Heigl out of her contract in 2010 after she allegedly did not show up for work. The significance of believing individuals when they reveal their true selves was later brought up by Rhymes, who said that Heigl's Emmy comments had hurt. Scandal, Rhymes's latest program, has a strict no Heigl policy. Reviving her acting career after leaving Greenlee was a challenge for Heigl. In contrast to Grey's Anatomy, other films such as Jackie and Ryan, New Year's Eve, One for the Money, and The Big Wedding were poorly received by critics and audiences alike. After her career plummeted, Heigl admitted that she felt betrayed by the industry, which had been her only friend before. The quick swing against her in the industry caught her off guard, and she vented her fury and bewilderment in an interview with Marie Claire in 2014. 35. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson, a famous Hollywood actor, suffered a major career setback after a string of abusive episodes and anti-Semitic comments. The consequence of this was that he was forced to leave the top echelons of the film industry and go into official exile. It was after actress Winona Ryder made allegations of anti-Semitism against the 64-year-old actor that the sequel to Chicken Run, which is available on Netflix, distanced itself from him. Ryder claims that Gibson made sexist remarks about her in the year 1995, which resulted in increasing the amount of attention that was paid to Gibson's filmography. In addition, there have been allegations that some of Gibson's films actively promote anti-Semitic beliefs. During the year 2010, Oksana Grigorieva, a Russian pianist who had previously been Gibson's companion, allegedly left a voicemail on her phone that contained a powerful message. Radar Online is said to have obtained this voicemail. As a result of the disastrous effect that this revelation had on Gibson's career, his talent agency, William Morris Endeavor, cut all links with him the next year. The fact that Gibson had reduced the Holocaust in an interview with speechwriter Peggy Noonan for a Reader's Digest feature from 2013, which was released by Fox News in 2015, added gasoline to the fire of Gibson's problems. Gibson's troublesome background was once again brought to light by Ryder's accusation, despite the fact that he attempted to make a comeback in 2016 with the biographical war drama Hacksaw Ridge. 34. Cameron Diaz Cameron Diaz's announcement that she will be retiring from acting came as a surprise to many people. Actress Diaz is well known for her roles in a number of classic films, including Charlie's Angels and The Mask, among others. Diaz left the frenetic way of life in Hollywood in order to live a more straightforward life, one that she devoted to her family and to herself. Through an open and honest interview that she conducted in the year 2020, Diaz discussed her problems with finding serenity and overcoming self-doubt. As a consequence of this, there is now a renewed value placed on family life. In 2015, she tied the knot with the musician Benji Madden, and five years after the wedding, they have a child together. Today, Diaz is a firm believer in the importance of wellness and she makes use of her platform to urge others to adopt the same mindset. In her two books, The Body Book and The Longevity Book, which she co-authored, she offers actionable advice for living a better life, as well as insights on the process of aging. Diaz seems happy with her life away from Hollywood, embracing her duties as a dedicated wife, mother, and health champion. She has no public ambitions to return to acting. 
33. Linda Fiorentino. The last seduction, Men in Black and Dogma, were just a few of the iconic 1990s films in which Linda Fiorentino captivated audiences with her melancholy charm and captivating acting. At the height of her success, Fiorentino took a bold and unexpected decision. It was her intentional decision to vanish from Hollywood. During her brief stint in Hollywood, Fiorentino became famous for her ability to play strong, independent women in a variety of roles. However, her abrupt ascent to fame was followed by an equally abrupt and enigmatic fall from grace. Without warning or explanation, Fiorentino disappeared from the public eye and the entertainment industry in the early 2000s. Fiorentino, in contrast to many famous people, willingly and permanently avoided the limelight in favor of a far more private and isolated life. She has been conspicuously absent from industry gatherings and has refused to give interviews in which she discusses her departure or her reasons for leaving. It is still a mystery why she retired so soon after reaching the peak of her career in Hollywood. Above all else, Linda Fiorentino served as a reminder that acting is not for everyone. Some exceptionally talented performers approach their craft as an art form, not as a means to an end, a pursuit of fame and fortune. Uncompromisingly true to herself, she created an enthralling aura of mystery and intrigue on screen that fans can't get enough of, even after all these years. 32. Paula Dean. Accusations of racist behavior damaged Paula's career, which had been beloved by many. Paula, who had a part in the 2012 film Elizabeth Town, and was famous for her appearances on Top Chef, Master Chef, Extreme Makeover, Home Edition, and other similar shows, was embroiled in scandal. Lisa Jackson's case against Paula started things rolling when she was the general manager of Uncle Bubba's Seafood and Oyster House in Savannah, Georgia. According to Jackson, Paula would sometimes use racial insults such as the N-word while her staff were around. In addition, Paula proposed planning a wedding with a Southern theme, complete with black males dressed as slaves. In answer, Paula acknowledged that she had used the N-word before, explaining it away as a result of societal shifts. She defended the idea of a slave wedding, saying that her family resisted any negative connotations associated with the phrase and that she had seen one at another restaurant, which she praised as stunning. But the consequences were felt right away. Despite Paula's repeated video apologies, the Food Network decided not to renew her contract. Her public image remained severely damaged despite her best efforts at damage management, which included an appearance on Dancing with the Stars a few years later. After posting and subsequently removing a photo of her son in brownface in 2015, Paula encountered further criticism, further complicating the scandals that have surrounded her. Stakeholders in the industry and the general public severed ties with Paula after these actions, permanently damaging her once revered career. Her professional status and public image have been permanently damaged by the rapid repercussions of her conduct and the subsequent blunders. 31. Charlie Sheen Sheen saw his career crumble as a result of his addiction. He was once one of the highest paid TV performers, making an astounding $1.8 million per episode for two and a half men. Beginning in the 1990s, he battled substance abuse and alcoholism. Incidents such as assault accusations and cocaine overdoses characterize it. Troubles and scandals around drug usage occurred in a widely publicized history. After his incarceration in 2009, Sheen's life took a terrible turn, which began with his struggles with addiction. While Sheen was in rehab in 2010, production on Two and a Half Men came to a halt. He tried to get back on the show, but in March 2011, he was fired. His departure was probably due in large part to his harmfully self-destructive behavior and his criticism of the show's creator, Chuck Lorre. The latest on Sheen's whereabouts is that he is reportedly working on two TV projects and has been clean for over a year. After giving it some thought, Sheen revealed that there were several ways to deal with his addiction and his stint on Two and a Half Men but he had gone with the unconventional route. In an interview, 
He admitted his part in the chaotic events and said that his acts were impulsive and caused by his youth and despair. Sheen said that his actions were the result of a combination of factors, including the effects of drugs, high levels of stress, and a volcano of disgust. The actor's dedication to taking full responsibility for his previous misdeeds is evident in his post-meltdown path, which he refers to as melt forward. Recognizing the immaturity of his decisions, Sheen attributed his turbulent phase to the complex interaction of drugs, stress, and contempt. He overcame obstacles and made progress in his personal and professional life throughout his stated year of recovery. Whether or not that is sufficient to restart his career is unknown. 30. Kevin Spacey During Kevin Spacey's trial in London's Southwark Crown Court, his attorney contended that the actor was subject to social media scrutiny and broad public censure upon the initial revelation of the accusations. Spacey quickly faded from view after becoming a major star in Hollywood. Christopher Plummer quickly stepped in to reshoot his sequences as millionaire John Paul Getty in Ridley Scott's All the Money in the World, which was released in December 2017. Also, the Netflix series House of Cards, in which Kevin Spacey had a role that won a Golden Globe, fired him. After Spacey was fired due to sexual assault claims, he and his production businesses were compelled to pay $31 million to cover the damages. In 2018 and 2019, two separate criminal accusations were dropped, one in Massachusetts and one in Los Angeles. Nonetheless, in 2022, Spacey was acquitted in a separate civil trial that took place in New York. Jurors in the United Kingdom have acquitted the celebrity of all criminal charges pertaining to sexual assault claims made by four men between 2001 and 2013. The court heard that Spacey had two consensual sexual encounters while one man's accusations were judged to be unsubstantiated. Spacey said that the situation did not get worse, even though he acknowledged awkwardly passing a fourth man. Spacey may never be a celebrity again, but there's still hope for the actor. 29. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes overcame the typical obstacles experienced by child stars while pursuing her career in entertainment thanks to her appearances in She's the Man in the Amanda Show. Nevertheless, her 2012 Twitter tantrum had a far greater impact than her battles with drink and drugs. Bynes expressed a desire for rapper Drake to harm her, among other contentious allegations, on Twitter around this time. She went after Rihanna as well casting doubt on her beauty. She was very critical of herself and Miley Cyrus, calling them unattractive. Bynes also burned a driveway and her own clothes in addition to the incidents that occurred online. After this rough patch, Bynes suffered a bipolar disorder diagnosis and spent time in a mental institution, which put an end to her acting career. Bynes's parents petitioned for and received a conservatorship in 2013 out of concern for their daughter's welfare. They claimed she posed a threat to herself or others if given autonomy over her health care and money. With no plans to return to acting, Bynes enrolled at the Los Angeles Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising after taking a break to concentrate on her mental health. Bynes's parents and a judge reached a consensus in 2022 that their daughter could regain mental capacity and make her own decisions regarding her health care and finances. The guardianship was revoked. Bynes, on the other hand, contacted the authorities later that year to seek mental health treatment. She has been receiving the help she needs to complete her road to recovery at an inpatient mental health facility since then. 28. Bill Cosby A star of several comedic and dramatic series, Bill Cosby had a spectacular fall from popularity after being lauded for his innocent persona as America's dad. He faced three counts of aggravated assault in 2018 after more than 60 people came forward to describe specific incidents of attack. Defending their client, Cosby's legal team cast doubt on when the ladies came out with their accusations. 
Later on, proof surfaced that Cosby had administered sedatives to young ladies he wanted to have sexual intercourse with. The fall of Cosby's acting and television careers followed these allegations. Some of his stand-up performances were canceled and the show's replays were pulled off TV land. Several universities revoked the honorary degrees they had given him and his statue at Florida's MGM Hollywood Studios Park was taken down. A sentence of three to 10 years in prison was handed down to him a few months later. Experts in the field think he would never be able to recover from his ruined reputation, even if his conviction was later reversed and he was released after spending two years. Opinions in the public are still mostly negative, even if Cosby's release was due to a technicality. Howard Bragman, a veteran of public relations and crisis management, stated that he was acquitted. He was let go due to a procedural error. Studios, A-list actors and filmmakers would be hesitant to associate with Cosby due to his toxic reputation, according to industry experts who are skeptical about his comeback prospects. The meaning is obvious. Cooperation with Cosby is an unattractive option in one's personal and professional life due to the possibility of irreparable harm to one's image. 27. Michael Richards Michael Richards, better known as Kramer from Seinfeld, witnessed the rapid demise of his career in the span of three minutes. Michael Richards' unfortunate dismissal from the program was the first of its kind. After he made history as the show's first new cast member in two years, the production crew interviewed the cast members as a whole. Richard's tragic world continued with the plot, and his performance as Cosmo Kramer is still one of his best. Although Richard's Seinfeld co-stars went on to great success after the show ended, he suffered a major setback from which he never entirely recovered. In an effort to cash in on the success of Seinfeld, Richards returned to stand-up comedy when the show ended. When footage of him yelling racist insults at a black audience member surfaced, his career plummeted. Richards, who starred in the book Seinfeld and had his share of professional ups and downs, had a blast with this terrifying thriller. In this disturbing three-minute footage, Richards eventually left the stage after telling an audience member that they would have them hanging upside down with an explicit reference 50 years ago. He also used racist insults multiple times. Richards failed to recover from the fallout, even after apologizing and appearing on late night shows like Late Show with David Letterman to reach out to his former fans and regain their support. The harm had already been done, even when he apologized to notable black personalities like Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. Richard's career never really recovered, despite his occasional TV appearances and cameos. 26. Sean Connery The man, the legend, and the first James Bond was Sean Connery. He was the original James Bond. Can you imagine that this gorgeous man whose name is practically linked with the number 007 in the past worked as a coffin polisher? You have it right. However, Hollywood had other intentions for this sweet Scotsman, and we are thankful that they did not go through with those plans. His performances were not only memorable, but also varied, ranging from the dashing spy James Bond to the father of Indiana Jones. Connery's acting career was filled with remarkable characters. You may recall that he was awarded the Academy Award for his performance in the film The Untouchables. Do you remember when he played the role of Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez, the eternal swordsman in the film Highlander? The man was a chameleon, able to seamlessly transform himself into whatever role that was presented to him. However, even legendary figures require a vacation from their careers, and in 2003, Connery said goodbye to the world of film. He was so fed up with the shenanigans that were going on in Hollywood that he made the decision to give up the glitz and glory in favor of a tranquil life in the Bahamas. If you ask me, this is not a bad deal. However, as a reassuring idea, here is one. Sean Connery's famous performances continue to adorn our screens, ensuring that the man with the golden years will continue to live on in our collective memory even though it is possible that we will not see him in any more movies. 
You may recall that he was awarded the Academy Award for his performance in the film The Untouchables. Do you remember when he played the role of Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez, the eternal swordsman in the film Highlander? The man was a chameleon, able to seamlessly transform himself into whatever role that was presented to him. However, even legendary figures require a vacation from their careers, and in 2003, Connery said goodbye to the world of film. He was so fed up with the shenanigans that were going on in Hollywood that he made the decision to give up the glitz and glory in favor of a tranquil life in the Bahamas. If you ask me, this is not a bad deal. However, as a reassuring idea, here is one. Sean Connery's famous performances continue to adorn our screens, ensuring that the man with the golden years will continue to live on in our collective memory, even though it is possible that we will not see him in any more movies. 25. Jack Nicholson Who among us could possibly forget that unforgettable moment from The Shining? This horrific line, which was uttered by none other than Jack Nicholson, will forever be engraved into the annals of Hollywood history. Not only has Nicholson's career been filled with passionate performances and awards, but it has also been filled with those distinctive, wicked eyebrows. Nicholson's career has been as dynamic as it has been famous. In every position that he played, Nicholson demonstrated his extraordinary talent and breadth. From the role of the insane antagonist in The Shining, to the role of the eccentric protagonist in As Good As It Gets. In the film Batman, which was released in 1989, Jack Nicholson gave one of the best portrayals of the Joker ever, long before it became customary to do so by that point. However, did you also know that this Hollywood giant, who has been nominated for 12 Academy Awards, is currently taking in the scenery from the sidelines? Yeah, that's right. After a number of decades of stealing scenes and winning awards, Nicholson made the decision to retire from acting in the year 2010, so embracing his retirement. Despite the fact that Nicholson has not appeared on our screens for a number of years, his impact in Hollywood has been among the most significant in the history of the industry. It is a credit to his enduring presence in the industry that his contagious smile and obvious charisma are a part of our collective cultural memories. 24. Gene Hackman the journey from the crimson tide to a relaxed retirement. In the course of your late night television marathon, have you ever happened onto a show like The French Connection or Mississippi Burning by accident? Because if that is the case, you have witnessed Gene Hackman in action, the actor who was grimy, tough as nails, and capable of portraying characters with a lot of depth. Popeye Doyle, the hard-nosed cop, Lex Luthor, the wicked Lex Luthor, and Royal Tannenbaum, the loving Royal Tannenbaum, are just some of the famous parts that Gene Hackman has played during the course of his career, which has spanned five decades. Two Academy Awards were bestowed upon him as a result of his outstanding performances, which is not a bad accomplishment. The retired legend currently resides in Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is located a great distance away from the bright lights of Hollywood. There, he is able to take pleasure in the tranquility of his golden years. Although we may be missing seeing his well-known visage on the big screen, the fact that he has produced such a great body of work guarantees that his legacy will go on. This is the force that a genuine artist possesses. Even if they leave the stage, their performances will continue to reverberate for all time. 23. Monique Comedian after winning an Oscar in 2009 for her performance in Precious, Monique appeared to be setting herself up for a successful future. The minute she stepped off the stage, though, a five-year break from making a big splash began. The film Blackbird, in which she co-starred, also had its premiere on the same day. Blackbird starred Monique and another Hollywood star who had a quick decline in fortunes, Isaiah Washington. A few months before, she was informed that she had been banned because of her husband's salary bargaining techniques, Monique said in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter that she had been informed by director Lee Daniels. Because she failed to express her gratitude to Daniels in her acceptance speech for the Oscar, Monique publicly criticized him and accused him of directing her career decline. As expected, Monique's Hollywood reputation took a hit after these revelations, particularly in light of her future feuds with Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry whom she falsely accused of plotting against her. While other famous comedians obtained multi-million dollar deals for their comedy specials, Monique was given $500,000, further causing controversy in 2018. She accused Netflix of discrimination, 
settled out of court with Monique after choosing not to proceed with additional negotiations. I couldn't take that cheap offer because if I did, I couldn't sleep at night. Monique addressed her opinion on the subject during an early January 2018 Sway interview. In contrast to deals for other black female comedians like Tiffany Haddish, she thought the offer was unfair. Netflix responded with a statement that stated their intention to contest the lawsuit and affirmed the fairness of their earlier offer. 22. Jared Leto The path that Jared Leto's career has taken has undergone a discernible change. He was previously a familiar face in the film industry, appearing in films throughout the 1990s and 2000s. Together with his brother Shannon, he established the rock band known as 30 Seconds to Mars in the year 1998. As time has progressed, his music has become increasingly well-known, garnering him numerous accolades and a significant number of followers all around the world. His outstanding acting abilities were brought to the attention of audiences by his Oscar-winning performance in the film Dallas Buyers Club, which was released in 2013. However, his musical obligations have played an increasingly important role. Leto's ever-evolving musical prowess was on full display in the band's album America, which was released in 2018, and it achieved the number one spot on the Billboard charts. The profound lyrical themes that are featured in their songs strike a chord with a large number of people, and their concerts, such as the Camp Mars Festival in 2017, draw in thousands of people. However, Leto's interest is not limited to music alone. He is also interested in more. In addition to his career as an actor, the musician may also be found in the business world. Leto's investment portfolio includes holdings in well-known technology businesses, such as Slack and Airbnb, as of the year 2021 with the current year. These endeavors are evidence of his capacity to vary his interests and succeed in a variety of occupations. Despite the fact that Leto's most recent cinematic achievement was The Little Things, 2021, his music and commercial endeavors are now the primary drivers of his influential presence. 21. Gina Davis Gina Davis is a well-known actress who was born in Massachusetts, United States of America on January 21, 1956. She is most known for her appearances in films such as Thelma and Louise and A League of Their Own when she was younger. In addition to her career as an actress, Gina is a staunch supporter of equal treatment of women in the professional media. Both New England College and Boston University were the places where Gina began her journey, where she studied drama. Her first film, Tootsie, was released in 1982, and she began her career in the entertainment industry as a lingerie model. She could be seen on television in the shows Buffalo Bill and Family Ties. The Fly, which was released in 1986, was her game changer. She demonstrated her abilities in a variety of films, including Beetlejuice, 1988, Earth Girls Are Easy, and The Accidental Tourist, 2015. Her work in the second film earned her an Academy Award for her performance. Thelma and Louise, 1991, and A League of Their Own, 1992, were two more films in which she proceeded to play memorable characters. The influence of Gina was not limited to the realm of performing. In 2004, she established the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media with the purpose of tackling gender stereotypes and inequities in the media. In addition to that, she was the United Nations Special Envoy for Women and Girls in Technology. Gina Davis, a gifted actress and a devoted advocate, has made an indelible impression not just on the entertainment business, but also on the struggle for equality. 20. Felicity Huffman The romance comedy Otherhood, which was set to premiere on Netflix, has been postponed. There was no cancellation of the picture. In fact, it was released later that year. Following Huffman's public apology and plea deal related to the U.S. college admissions scandal, Netflix made this choice. Huffman confessed to being one of 13 people who paid bribes to get their children into elite universities. I fully embrace my culpability with profound regret and shame for what I have done," Huffman said in her statement, expressing her repentance. Whatever happens as a result of my actions, I will take full responsibility for it. In addition to a $30,000 fine, 250 hours of community service, and one year of supervised release, Huffman was ordered to serve 11 days of a 14-day federal prison term. Huffman also lost what is called reputational capital in the entertainment industry due to her conviction for felonies. 
As a result of her standing, Huffman can anticipate less possibilities and poorer revenue in her future projects, highlighting the substantial fallout from her role in the college admissions scam. 19. T.J. Miller It seems like T.J. Miller's checkered history has finally caught up with him. His performance in Deadpool 3 was affected, and it added to the many scandals that have dogged him throughout his career. After a falling out with Ryan Reynolds, Miller said he would not be appearing in Deadpool 3, even though his net worth had increased to about $2 million from the first two films. Miller spoke clean about how the film's plot had degraded him, which had caused issues. Even though Reynolds tried to make amends and clear things up, Miller was still not cast in Deadpool 3. Several scandals beset his career, and this development was only the most recent. After four seasons, Miller's character, Ehrlich Bachman, was written out from the HBO comedy Silicon Valley due to his contentious relationships with the show's producers. Miller went on to critique the show and was later kept out of interviews with the authors and cast. Miller was arrested in December 2018 for fabricating a false bomb threat on an Amtrak train, adding to his long list of scandals. An episode where he got drunk and got into a fight with a woman was the precursor to this. A number of women accused Miller of sexual assault and other forms of abuse, further adding insult to injury. Alice Wetland, with whom he worked on Silicon Valley, publicly accused him of being a bully and a spoiled brat when they were on stage together. The two were then scheduled for release from the set, with the reason being that they had made multiple sexual advances without consent. 18. Daniel Day-Lewis Day-Lewis is head and shoulders above the crowd when it comes to acting technique. It's not horrible that he won three Oscars. Did you know that Daniel Day-Lewis, who is famous for his hard method acting, actually insisted that crew personnel feed him and carry him about the set for my left foot? He even refused to get out of his wheelchair between takes. That's a serious dedication. He brings an astonishing level of insight and empathy to every role he plays, from the charismatic but ruthless Bill the Butcher in Gangs of New York to the sympathetic President Lincoln. His performances are truly remarkable. You may be asking, what is the brilliant Daniel Day-Lewis doing now? Away from the spotlight, he's pursuing his dream of becoming a shoemaker in rural Ireland. Yes, the actor who played Abraham Lincoln is now making shoes. If his performance is any indication, those shoes must be top-notch. 17. Rick Moranis Shrunken Stealing the Spotlight He avoided Hollywood, my darling. That's one way to describe the legendary Rick Moranis, who brought laughter to our faces in films like Spaceballs, Ghostbusters, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Do you remember his hilarious timing and endearingly geeky characters? In the 80s and 90s, Moranis had a string of successful singles. However, in 1997, he made the surprising decision to withdraw from the spotlight. You might be asking why a famous actor would do that. Well, after the terrible death of his wife to cancer, Moranis had a touching reason to concentrate on parenting his children. A true hero can be found there. Nevertheless, he appeared briefly in an ad with Ryan Reynolds in 2020, which would come as a shock to many fans. Maybe a return? No, I don't think so. With his children taking precedence over scripts, Moranis is continuing to relish in retirement. Even though we'll miss his endearing screen presence, we can't help but admire and respect his decision. After all, being a parent is the most crucial job a person can have. 16. Doris Day, the dawn after Hollywood Kissera, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. These exquisitely rendered lyrics by Doris Day could have easily served as her life's credo. Doris Day was a singing and acting powerhouse who dominated the silver screen with her innocent look and beautiful voice. She was a beloved figure of the 1950s and 1960s. Just as remarkable as her singing talent was Doris Day's acting range, which she displayed in everything from romantic comedies starring Rock Hudson to suspenseful thrillers directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Her followers were left to worry what would happen to their beloved celebrity when she decided to depart from Hollywood in 1973. Animal welfare was Day's life's work, as it was something she felt strongly about. Additionally, are you aware that she established the Doris Day Animal Foundation, her very own nonprofit organization? Impressive use of her popularity for a noble cause. Doris Day was a loving animal rights activist who was also a gifted actor and singer. Her impact continues even though she passed away in 2019. Her life serves as a reminder that great stars continue to shine even after the credits roll. Fifteen, Steve Guttenberg 
senior class of the police academy. No way, Mahoney. If you can still hear those phrases, it's safe to assume that you enjoyed the police academy TV series. Then you would also know about Steve Guttenberg's hilarious brilliance. Officer Mahoney, played by Guttenberg, became famous in the 1980s thanks to his endearing smile and sharp humor. It wasn't only the police academy either. Guttenberg became famous for his comedic roles in films like Cocoon and Three Men and a Baby. Her approach was light and humorous. Not only was he a fantastic performer, but he also became a movie star. But his star started to dwindle in the late 90s when he had a string of unsuccessful projects. Not only that, but he's a successful philanthropist and author as well. That was unexpected, I bet. There are various ways to remain in the limelight, as Guttenberg's life shows, even after you step away from Hollywood's A-list. In all candor, isn't that the point of living, change, growth, and the discovery of new platforms? 14. Meg Ryan In the rom-com world of the 90s, Ryan would have been unrivaled. Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail, both starring Tom Hanks, were groundbreaking films of their day because of her dazzling connection with him. However, Ryan's interests extended beyond romantic comedies. Recall her outstanding turns in courage. Along with her rom-com charisma, her acting chops were what really made an impression on men. Directing films like Ithaca, Meg Ryan is now more often seen behind the camera. She has also discovered happiness in motherhood and in pursuing her other artistic interests. So, even though she isn't appearing in films anymore, her impact on romantic comedies is indisputable. Finally, the sleepless star has discovered a place to relax, and she couldn't be happier about it. 13. Freddie Prinze Jr. Many assume Prinze left Hollywood to focus on his family. However, that isn't officially stated. Freddie Prinze Jr. was dubbed Young Hollywood's Leading Man by the now-defunct Teen People magazine, for his flawless portrayal of the jock archetype in the late 90s and early 2000s. He did not really retire from acting after marrying Sarah Michelle Gellar, despite popular belief to the contrary. He voiced characters in Mass Effect 3 and Dragon Age Inquisition, wrote for WWE, and is now the author of Back to the Kitchen, a cookbook. 12. Tobey Maguire The Careers of Close Friends Tobey Maguire and Leonardo DiCaprio couldn't be more different. The Ice Storm, Deconstructing Harry, and Pleasantville were his previous film credits before he became Spider-Man to all the kids of the 2000s. Despite the widespread criticism of Maguire's Spider-Man 3, fans were still hoping for an appearance from him in the upcoming fourth feature. Nevertheless, Maguire was left behind when Sony decided to revive the franchise starring Andrew Garfield. In 2017, he voiced the lead character in the family film, The Boss Baby. While Maguire has stepped away from performing for a while, he has been actively involved in producing for several projects. 11. Karen Parsons Despite her portrayal of the materialistic Hilary Banks on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Karen Parsons was actually much different from her real-life self. Parsons came clean about her decision to stay on as a hostess before landing the role of Fresh Prince, even though filming had begun. According to NPR, she remembers how the show's actors, including Will Smith, would park outside her diner and taunt her while she was working. Along with her husband, director Alexandra Rockwell, Parsons chose to devote herself to parenthood. Sweet Blackberry is another project that Parsons has been involved with. It consists of animated shorts honoring obscure black heroes. 10. Joe Pesci Particularly in the world of gangster films, Joe Pesci made an unforgettable impression on Hollywood with his fiery performances and unique New Jersey accent. Whether he was playing Raging Bull or Casino, he always brought a whole new level of intensity to the screen. He was so good as the erratic Tommy DeVito in Goodfellas that he won an Oscar for his portrayal. But hold on a second. This legendary actor retired in the late 1990s. Do you think it's real? Keep working but he shifted his concentration to other pursuits and drastically cut down on his performing engagements. And no, he wasn't a mob member. Golf, a somewhat more sedate pastime, would be his choice. Okay, so Pesci is still making appearances on TV. Among his rare appearances, he is most known for his reunions with Robert De Niro and Martin Scorsese, but there aren't many of such times. Now that he's semi-retired and enjoying life on the golf course, Joe Pesci appears to be happy. Who could possibly hold it against him? A little relaxation sounds like a great bargain after years of doing dramatic roles. 9. 
Greta Garbo. Greta Garbo likely had no idea how prescient her statement, I was in a daze at the Grand Hotel, would become when she said it. The Swedish-born actress embodied the golden age of Hollywood, captivating audiences with her mesmerizing performances in films such as Matahari and Anna Karenina. But Garbo did something unexpected in 1941 when her fame was at its peak. From Hollywood, she disappeared without a trace. The days of spectacular performances and intense close-ups are over. Just like that, Garbo vanished. To answer your question, what transpired? She had discovered serenity and solitude, which is why she decided to retire, which is puzzling, but demonstrates that celebrity and success are relative concepts. Even if she never makes another film, the iconic image of the golden age of Hollywood that enchanted millions of people will live on in her cinematic legacy. Eight, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, a guy whose fame knows no bounds, is up next. Eastwood embodied the stereotypical Hollywood bad guy, whether he was peering behind a cowboy hat or delivering a scathing justice in Dirty Harry. The silver screen would be his oyster with his snarl and piercing stare. Eastwood established himself as a master of his art in a variety of roles, from the nameless man in spaghetti westerns to the weathered veteran in Gran Torino. However, even legendary figures know when to call it quits. Eastwood, who is now in his 90s, has drastically cut down on his playing gigs, but he hasn't formally announced his retirement. It would appear that our cherished cowboy is prepared for a less boisterous journey towards sunset, but have no fear. Although Eastwood hasn't been in many films as an actor, he's been rather active as a director. Films such as American Sniper, Million Dollar Baby, and others were brought to life by his astute eye in the editing room. 7. Jessica Alba In the 2000s, Jessica Alba had a breakout year, winning over fans with cult hit Dark Angel and going on to star in the Fantastic Four films. What transpired then? Alba apparently came to terms with the fact that people frequently ignored her abilities in favor of praising her stunning good looks. She was quite clear in 2017 that she would not return to filmmaking unless she was given full creative control. It would be awesome if I could create a movie or a series for Netflix, she told Good Housekeeping. One of my lifelong goals is to see more female action movie stars, and I'm happy to report that I still have Dark Angel devotees. Our guess is that being a mother and CEO of The Honest Company keeps Alba quite busy. 6. Mara Wilson's The Roles of Matilda and Mrs. Doubtfire set Mara Wilson on the path to an extensive acting career. Everyone was on the edge of their seats, waiting for the bright young star to do something unexpected. Wilson expressed her frustration with the body-obsessed culture to People magazine in 2016, saying that she no longer wanted to be a part of it. She was honest about the fact that she stopped receiving role offers as she entered adolescence. Upon her eventual casting call, the part was for a fat girl. While still performing in theater in high school and college, Wilson opted to devote herself fully to her studies by starting to write. Things have gotten a lot better since I left Hollywood, a great weight lifted. She has stated that she has never been happier since graduating from college. 5. Shirley Temple Little Shirley Temple, who came into this world in Santa Monica, California on April 23, 1928, was a sensation in the 1930s film industry. During the Great Depression, her upbeat performances brought joy to audiences through sentimental musicals, where she became famous. Temple began dancing classes at the age of three, under her mother's encouragement, and she quickly became a star in a series of short comedies titled Baby Burlesques. Her breakout roles in 1934's Stand Up and Cheer and Little Miss Marker catapulted her to prominence. Her memorable performances in 1934's Bright Eyes and the infectious hit on the good ship Lollipop cemented her place in popular culture. The Little Colonel and Curly Top, two of her films from 1935 and 1938, were huge hits in the theaters. Having said that, her star began to fade with 1939's The Little Princess. Starring in films such as The Little Princess and The Bachelor, she was married to John Agar in 1945 at the tender age of 17 after her contract was canceled. She was also a star in That Hoggin Girl, 1947, and The Bobby Soxer, 1947. A Kiss for Corliss, her final feature film, was released in 1949. After a successful performing career, she married Charles A. Black in 1950 and entered politics. 
Not only did she represent Ghana as an ambassador, but she also ran for the United States House of Representatives in 1967. Among the many accolades she received for her civic work was a 1998 Kennedy Center honor. On February 10, 2014, she passed away. 4. Daniel Day-Lewis Daniel Day-Lewis, a highly esteemed actor from his time, came into this world in London, England on April 29, 1957. He said goodbye to the performing world in 2017. Three times he has been named Best Actor by the Academy, a testament to his tremendous technique and versatility on screen. In his retirement announcement, he mentioned a want for a quiet life away from the spotlight. Actress Jameson Day-Lewis is the son of the poet Cecil Day-Lewis, who happens to be Jameson's father. As an additional point of interest, film producer Sir Michael Balkin considers him to be his grandson. The part of Christy Brown, which he played in the film My Left Foot, 1989, and for which he was awarded an Academy Award, was his breakout performance. While he was sat in a wheelchair, he painted with his left foot throughout the entirety of the performance. In recognition of his work in the films Lincoln, 2012, and There Will Be Blood, 2007, he was awarded the Golden Globe Award. Back in 2002, when Scorsese was working on Gangs of New York, he got a brief opportunity to gain experience by working as an apprentice to an Italian cobbler. 2014 was the year that he became a night bachelor. Due to the fact that Day-Lewis is committed to leading a peaceful and private life away from the attention of the film industry, it is quite unlikely that we will see him return to the big screen. 3. Jack Nicholson Hollywood Great Jack Nicholson has been performing for over 50 years. However, it's possible that he will never appear in another film. Not only was the 84-year-old Oscar winner last seen in the 2010 film How Do You Know, but it was also possibly his final role. While Nicholson has remained mum on the subject, close friend Peter Fonda almost confirmed the news to Page Six in 2017. According to Fonda, I think he has basically retired earlier. I don't want to speak for him, but he has done a lot of work and he has done very well as a person financially. 2. Eva Mendes Even though Eva Mendes hasn't acted since 2014's Lost River, her admirers might not have noticed because she's still highly popular. Since then, she and her partner Ryan Gosling have had two kids, Esmeralda and Amada. It turns out that they play a significant role in her decision to decline set tasks. The 47-year-old Mendez explained to an Instagram follower in 2020 who had asked her why she hadn't been in a movie for a time that being a mom had altered everything. Being a mother has made me realize that there are many things I simply cannot do anymore. Because she wasn't interested in some of the options, she said, I'm fine with that, via Hola, expressing her displeasure with the restriction. It is my responsibility to provide a good example for my girls right now. I guarantee you, I am involved in a couple of side gigs. 1. Portia de Rossi After her 2017 scandal appearance as Elizabeth North, Portia de Rossi formally retired from acting. However, she made a brief return for the second season of the Arrested Development Netflix revival. In 2018, de Rossi announced her desire to attempt something new during an appearance on Ellen DeGeneres' show. She went on to describe her new venture as General Public, an art company she co-founded. I was approaching 45 and I just kind of was wondering if there was something that I could tackle now that I've never done before that would be really challenging and different, he said. After considering my acting career trajectory for the next 10 to 20 years, I made the decision to leave the industry and launch my own business. I didn't want to be the woman who looks back on her mid to late 40s and regretted not taking a chance. Which one of these celebrities would you like to see back on the screen? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, cheers.